Hi, Todd Zuckerman here. In 2017, my first time at Drumeo, I recorded and filmed a drum solo here, and I would like to do another one for you guys today. Stick around for the end so you can hear me talk about a few of the elements in this drum composition.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that solo. Let's look at a few elements that I used to create this piece. Uh, this one is sort of a composition that begins phrased in 5-5-3-3. Five, five, three, three. And what I mean by that is if you have five sixteenth notes, 5-5-3-3, five, five, three, three, that will always come around because 5 and 3 are 8, 16. So it has an interesting shape to it, but you're right there playing 16th notes. So what I mean by that is like, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm playing it in flams like this. And uh, I have a deep love and appreciation for Tony Williams. Uh, he's just one of the most spectacular heroes I've ever had on this instrument. So I noticed that Tony would often play little composed solos with one drum in the middle, like a triad, like this. So I'm phrasing the five, five, three, threes in the solo in the beginning theme like this. One, two, one, two, three. You can take any amount of fives and threes and string them together. One of the first changes that I make in the solo is five, 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 three, 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 which sounds like this. One. So the fives and threes are a fun number landscape to have fun with. As long as you have the right amount of fives and threes, you won't mess up because you'll always come land on the one and it's an interesting sound and shape. From there, there's sort of other landscapes we're gonna go to. We're gonna go to a quasi samba. Again, I don't uh, propose to profess this is a correct way to play a samba. I did not grow up in Brazil. It is not my cultural experience. It's my uh, growing up in the north side of Chicago version of some samba-ish uh, moments. And then we'll make our way into a couple other grooves and into a double bass drum shuffle. And the game here is to try and compose, uh, know where your, your, your exit doors are to go from section to section in a musical setting and come back and finish with the original theme. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and maybe you learned something about soloing. If you want to check out more, you can click on the link below and you can check out Steve Smith's whole course, The Art of Soloing. My dear friend, Steve Smith, where he breaks down a solo that he and I played together at Drum Fantasy Camp in 2017. With that, we'll see you inside Dremio.